History unfolded before our eyes as Starship took to the skies for its seventh flight, a journey that would push the boundaries of what we thought possible, only to end in a spectacular finale that left the space community buzzing with questions. In the heart of Starbase, SpaceX's latest marvel, Ship 33, stood ready for its maiden voyage. This wasn't just another test flight, it was the debut of the revolutionary Block 2 design, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of thousands of engineers and space enthusiasts worldwide. The countdown began like any other, but this launch was different. The massive rocket towering against the Texas sky held more innovations than any of its predecessors. As the final minutes ticked away, the teams at Mission Control watched their screens intently, monitoring every system of this engineering masterpiece. Then it happened, a successful liftoff followed by an unexpected turn of events that would leave the space community dissecting every frame of footage for days to come. Why did Starship destroy itself? The answer lies in a fascinating chain of events that pushed the boundaries of rocket engineering to its limits. But that's not all. Elon Musk has just revealed a dramatic shift in Starship's future, with changes to the Block 3 design that are truly mind-bending. The scale of these modifications will reshape our understanding of what's possible in space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. As the massive Starship stood bathed in the golden Texas sunlight, no one could have predicted the roller coaster of emotions that would unfold over the next few minutes. The launch clock ticks steadily towards zero, each moment bringing us closer to what would become one of the most memorable flights in the Starship program's history. At T minus 45 minutes, the fueling process began, and immediately we noticed something remarkable. Despite the increased tank size of this Block 2 variant, the fueling time had actually decreased by five minutes compared to Flight 6. This wasn't just a minor improvement, it was a testament to SpaceX's relentless drive for efficiency, a sign that their modifications to the fuel farm were paying off in ways that would prove crucial for future rapid reusability. The final minute of countdown brought the first moment of tension. At T minus 40 seconds, we reached the critical pause point, a moment that had stopped previous launch attempts dead in their tracks. But Ship 33 wasn't interested in adding drama to this particular moment. The countdown continued smoothly, as if the rocket itself was eager to prove what this new Block 2 design could do. Then came the moment of truth. The roar of 33 Raptor engines shattered the morning silence, their combined force lifting the 5,000-ton behemoth off the pad with a grace that seemed to defy physics. This was already the seventh such launch in just under two months, a pace that would have seemed impossible just a year ago. SpaceX wasn't just launching rockets. They were revolutionizing our understanding of what's possible in spaceflight operations. The weather conditions brought an interesting historical parallel to mind. While Starship Flight 7 enjoyed clear skies, its numerical predecessor from another era, Apollo 12's Saturn V, had faced a very different challenge. That seventh flight had been struck by lightning twice during launch, yet still completed its mission to the moon. It seemed fitting that both seventh flights would end up teaching us valuable lessons about rocket design and operation, albeit in very different ways. As Booster 14 powered through the dense lower atmosphere, everything appeared nominal at first, but keen observers noticed something unusual just before the planned stage separation. It was subtle, a slight anomaly that would later prove significant in understanding the day's events. The stage separation itself was a masterpiece of engineering precision. For the first time ever, a Block 2 ship ignited its engines while still attached to its booster, a maneuver known as hot staging that would become crucial for future deep space missions. The ship broke free cleanly, its engines burning bright against the darkening sky as it continued its journey to space. But Booster 14's story was far from over. As it began its return journey, the first hint of drama emerged. Of the 13 center engines meant to fire for the boost back burn, only 12 roared to life. This kind of engine out scenario would have been enough to abort a landing attempt in most rocket programs, but SpaceX had built redundancy into every aspect of Starship's design. The decision to proceed with a landing attempt despite the engine anomaly revealed SpaceX's growing confidence in their systems. It was a calculated risk, backed by thousands of hours of simulation and analysis. 
The missing engine wasn't just a problem to be overcome, it was an opportunity to demonstrate the robustness of their design. As the booster approached the catching arms of the launch tower, hearts raced across Starbase. The precision required for this maneuver is difficult to comprehend. Imagine threading a needle while riding a motorcycle. Yet somehow the missing engine had relit for the landing burn, giving the booster its full complement of control for the final approach. The catch itself was nothing short of spectacular. Like a scene from science fiction made real, the massive booster settled into the waiting arms with a precision that seemed to mock the very laws of physics. It was only the second successful catch in history, proving that the first wasn't a fluke, but rather the beginning of a new era in rocket reusability. But this triumph was about to be overshadowed by events unfolding high above. Ship 33, still powering its way toward orbit, was about to teach us a costly but valuable lesson about the challenges of pushing technological boundaries. The first sign of trouble came at 7 minutes and 38 seconds into flight. One of the Center Raptor engines suddenly went dark. While not ideal, this wasn't necessarily fatal. The ship's engines can gimbal to compensate for just such an eventuality. But what happened next would change the entire complexion of the mission. In quick succession, more engines began shutting down. By the eight-minute mark, only three engines remained firing, all clustered on one side of the ship. The asymmetric thrust began to send the vehicle into an unrecoverable tumble. Moments later, as the final engines went quiet, telemetry was lost. Amateur photographers captured the ship's final moments, a brilliant flash against the sky that marked both an ending and a beginning. Every failure in aerospace is an opportunity to learn, and SpaceX was about to gain some valuable insights. The investigation revealed a fascinating chain of events. A propellant leak had developed between the tank dome and the fire shield, a critical area designed to protect the engines. This leak created a pressure buildup in an enclosed space, much like overinflating a balloon. When the pressure exceeded the structural limits and overwhelmed the venting system's capacity, failure was inevitable. Elon Musk's response to this failure was characteristically forward-thinking. Beyond the obvious steps of enhancing leak detection and increasing venting capacity, he revealed that the upcoming Raptor 3 engine would eliminate the need for the problematic fire shield entirely. This wasn't just a fix, it was an evolution. But perhaps the most exciting revelation came when discussing the future of the Starship program. Block 3, the next major iteration, would push the boundaries of rocket design in ways that even veteran space enthusiasts found hard to believe. The new design would stretch the vehicle's height by 10 meters before making an even more dramatic change, increasing its diameter. This seemingly simple change would have profound implications. At 12 meters wide, Block 3 would harness the power of 42 Raptor, three engines to generate an astounding 11,760 tons of thrust, more than three times that of the legendary Saturn V. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift in launch vehicle capability. To put this in perspective, a Block 3 Starship could potentially lift 300 tons to orbit while remaining fully reusable. If expended, its capability would rival that of the mythical Sea Dragon, the largest rocket ever designed but never built. The difference is, Block 3 isn't just a paper rocket. It's the next step in SpaceX's methodical march toward making humanity a multiplanetary species. Flight 7 might not have achieved all its objectives, but it proves something perhaps more valuable, that SpaceX's iterative design approach works. Each flight, whether triumphant or tragic, moves us closer to a future where space travel is as routine as air travel is today. The catch of Booster 14 showed us what's possible, the loss of Ship 33 showed us what needs to be fixed, and the revelations about Block 3 showed us where we're going. The path to the stars has never been easy, but with each launch, each success, and yes, each failure, we're writing new chapters in humanity's greatest adventure. The next launch might be delayed while the investigation concludes, but one thing is certain. Starship will fly again, and when it does, it will carry with it the lessons learned from Flight 7. Lessons that will help pave our way to Mars and beyond. As we've seen today, Flight 7 marks a pivotal moment in the Starship program. From the successful booster catch to the valuable lessons learned from Ship 33's unexpected end, each event brings us closer to making life multiplanetary. 
The revelations about Block 3's revolutionary design show us that SpaceX isn't just pushing boundaries. They're redefining what's possible in space exploration. Stay up to date with all these groundbreaking developments by joining our community here at Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that subscribe button to never miss our in-depth coverage of SpaceX's journey to Mars. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Block 3's massive size increase. I'd love to hear your predictions about what this could mean for future missions. If you found this analysis valuable, give this video a thumbs up. It helps more space enthusiasts find our channel. Remember to hit the notification bell to stay informed about every major SpaceX breakthrough. Together, we're witnessing history in the making. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest in space innovation. Until next time, keep looking up. Breaking news from SpaceX's latest launch. In the early hours of January 16th, the world watched as SpaceX's Starship Flight 7 mission unfolded. A story of both triumph and challenge that would capture headlines across the globe. The massive spacecraft rose from its launch pad at Boca Chica, Texas, carrying with it humanity's dreams of interplanetary travel. What began as a picture-perfect launch quickly became a testament to the complex reality of pushing space exploration's boundaries. The mission achieved something remarkable. For the first time, the massive Super Heavy booster was successfully caught by the mechanical arms of Mechazilla, a feat that space enthusiasts have been anticipating for months. But space exploration rarely follows a perfect script. As the second stage Starship continued its journey beyond Earth's atmosphere, something went wrong the spacecraft experienced what SpaceX calls a rapid, unscheduled disassembly over the Bahamas, creating a spectacular but concerning display as debris lit up the sky in brilliant streaks of orange and yellow. The Federal Aviation Administration's response was swift. Within hours, they issued a statement that would send ripples through the space industry. Their investigation could reshape the timeline of SpaceX's ambitious testing program and potentially influence the future of private space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we'll take you behind the scenes of this historic launch. Explore the FAA's crucial role in overseeing commercial spaceflight and examine what this means for SpaceX's revolutionary vision of making life multiplanetary. Let's dive right in. Breaking news from SpaceX's latest launch. In the early hours of January 16th, the world watched as SpaceX's Starship Flight 7 mission unfolded, a story of both triumph and challenge that would capture headlines across the globe. The massive spacecraft rose from its launch pad at Boca Chica, Texas, carrying with it humanity's dreams of interplanetary travel. What began as a picture-perfect launch quickly became a testament to the complex reality of pushing space exploration's boundaries. The mission achieved something remarkable. For the first time, the massive Super Heavy booster was successfully caught by the mechanical arms of Mechazilla, a feat that space enthusiasts have been anticipating for months. But space exploration rarely follows a perfect script. As the second stage Starship continued its journey beyond Earth's atmosphere, something went wrong. The spacecraft experienced what SpaceX calls a rapid, unscheduled disassembly over the Bahamas, creating a spectacular but concerning display as debris lit up the sky in brilliant streaks of orange and yellow. The Federal Aviation Administration's response was swift. Within hours, they issued a statement that would send ripples through the space industry. Their investigation could reshape the timeline of SpaceX's ambitious testing program and potentially influence the future of private space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we'll take you behind the scenes of this historic launch, explore the FAA's crucial role in overseeing commercial spaceflight, and examine what this means for SpaceX's revolutionary vision of making life multiplanetary. Let's dive right in. As pilots cruising over the Caribbean watched in awe, the sky erupted in a display of color that none of them had ever witnessed before. At 5.55 p.m. Eastern Time, just 18 minutes after launch, what should have been a routine test flight transformed into a moment that would challenge the future of commercial spaceflight. The pilots' reports of major streaks with multiple colors stretching across the sky 
would soon become crucial evidence in understanding what went wrong. But to truly grasp the significance of this moment, we need to understand the unprecedented achievement that preceded it. The successful catch of the super heavy booster by Mechazilla wasn't just